Hello precious people of God. This message is for someone tonight who is in the fight of their life. This message tonight is for someone who's been fighting on their hands and their knees. This message is for someone who is under attack from the enemy. This message is for someone who is going through it. You know, friends and family, brothers and sisters around you, they see you, but they don't see what you're going through. I know this message is for someone tonight. <clears throat> don't give up, my brother. Don't give up, my sister. You give this fight everything in, in you, everything. You know, you'll come to a place where it feels like you've poured out everything and anything you could possibly pour out to the Lord. And now that you've given the Lord everything to get through what it is you're going through. It could be a health problem. It could be a demonic problem. It could be a relationship problem. It could be a financial problem problem you know whatever it is i want to let you know tonight that you've when you get to that place where you pour out everything before the lord you ask the lord for help you cry out to him for help you fight against the enemy you do everything in your physical flesh that you can do to get through this situation but still you're in darkness still it seems as though there's no light at the end of the tunnel. I know I'm speaking to someone tonight. I know there's a brother or a sister who is going through what I'm speaking about tonight. You're going through the fight of your life. You know, I want to say to you, my brother, I want to say to you, my sister, don't be scared or don't think it's a bad thing to ask for prayer. You know, guys, the first church... You know, they used to have churches in their homes. They all knew each other. They knew each other's names. They would pray for each other. You know, guys, when someone was going through it, health, you know, a sickness, a financial problem, persecution, a demonic problem, they'd all come together and they would fast and they would pray for that individual who's in health, who's, who needs help, sorry. How much more should you ask your brother? How much more should you ask your pastor? How much more should you, you know, ask people to pray for you? Don't be afraid to ask people for help and to pray for you. <coughs> Excuse me. But I know that someone has poured out everything that they have within them to the Lord. You, the Lord has been comforting you. The Lord has been helping you through this. The Lord has been speaking to you. But you're still in your situation. You're still in your wilderness. You're still in your persecution. You're still in your financial problem. You're still in your sickness. You're still stuck in these sins. Whatever it is. When you pour everything that you have out to God. He will show you the way. He will show you the way my brother. He will show you the way my sister. You will walk into the light. You will walk into the light. I know you will. You know, guys, because God did it for me. He'll do it for you. As a matter of fact, how many years have you been following the Lord? How many trials, tribulations, health problems, financial problems, relationship problems, persecution problems have you been through? I want to ask you, my brother. I want to ask you, my sister. Did God ever leave you or forsake you while you were going through that? Did he not always come through for you? The, the answer is yes, he did help you. And yes, he never left nor forsook you. So what makes you think that God has forgotten about you and what you're going through? What makes you think that God is going to leave you or forsake you now? What makes you think that God is not going to help you? You are his child. You are his son. You are his daughter. Your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Your name is written on the palm of his hand. He has more thoughts for you than there are grains of sand on the beach, my brother and my sister. I want to tell you tonight, don't give up. Keep on fighting. Because when you do all that you can to stand, when you go as far as you can possibly go, 
then there's God. You, if you can only go this far with all your strength, with all your might, then guess what? Once you get to that place, then God will be there. Your miracle will happen. Your deliverance will happen. <coughs> you will get through it. You know, that relationship problem will be solved. You know, the light will be bright. There is light at the end of the tunnel. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Don't give up while you're going through that dark trial. Don't give up, my brother. Don't give up, my sister. Keep on fighting. The victory is in Jesus' name. Some of you have been trying to get the victory in your own name, doing it in your own strength. <coughs> but I want to let you know, the victory is in Jesus' name. Never forget that. It was Jesus who brought you this far. And it's Jesus who's going to take you until the very end. You know, guys, it's Jesus. The victory is in Jesus' name. Don't give up. You will get your victory if you don't give up. You will get your victory if you call out to the Lord. You know, ask people to pray for you. Ask people to help you. Don't stop praying. The, the battle is won on your knees. You know, the victory is in Jesus' name. Jesus loves you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press like. Leave a comment. You know, leave a comment. You know, if you're going through something and you want prayer, leave a comment and we will all pray for you. We will. We won't just say that we're going to pray for you. We will actually pray for you. Jesus loves you. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. And remember, the victory is in Jesus' name. Don't stop fighting. You will get your victory. It might not come when you're expecting it to come. It might not happen the way that you're expecting it to happen. But it will surely come and it will surely happen. May Jesus bless you.